Do I have unlimited sprint? Oh man, I do. This guy just hauls. Those butterflies? The mods? Very strange. Yeah, I'm sure it's totally fine to be in here and breathing all the same air. Urns for these things sitting over here. Little Cthulhu monsters. So much bigger. Did I come from? No, nope, can't go there. Clearly, I'm supposed to go up here, though. Was that I've just seen? I didn't even see anything at all. Can I do it again? Was I supposed to have seen something? I looked around, but I. Some of these caverns look like places I needed to go. Maybe this one? different knobs. Five pieces of stone with glyphs on them. What in the world? It's like its own like biome down here, it's crazy. I already got one of these. Okay, what am I supposed to be seeing? This, apparently. Hmm, if I am not mistaken, this relief depicts that the overgrown floor we came across at the various points in the cavern, uh, can be cleared away with an iridescent device, a tool or a talisman. 
Is that what it's showing you? It kind of looks Curiously, like evolution. We still haven't been able to find the roots of those plants. They seem to seep out of these caverns by passing through crevices which look as if intentionally made for them. <laughs> what other secrets might these silent halls conceal from us? I don't think we're looking at the same thing. scientist but uh that you can see pictures my team will continue exploration through this gateway other expedition parties can commence when ready sure that went well. How come I'm stuck? Okay. Uh. It's a bug. Okay. It's got to crouch out of it. Obvious place to go is in the middle there. But let's take a look at all the outskirts first. Looks like something's missing here. What could it be? Is it these things? I need something that can fit. Okay. Uh. I'm supposed to know an order of some kind? Clearly, I'm supposed to. that. Is there some indication? Oh good, let's just open up the alien crypt. got the same thing on his hand that I did. Do these all open? They do, of course. Just release all the zombies. Is this the map of what I need to do? Duck. Oh, jeez. Okay, that's a little too close for my face. Ah, same set of symbols we've seen in strangely carved niches all around here matches with what is written in the oldest parchment. I believe uncertainly that they represent a destination towards somewhere significant. This is Frank Gilman. Can anybody hear me? Over. No answer. Okay. Maybe... There we go. Copy down the glyphs. 
Oh, perfect. That's handy. Alright. Let's head over to... That one place over here. Why does it have stuff you can step on? Well, it's only one of them. Okay, so the first one is the one with the three dots and the swirls around it. This one, I believe. And then... Nope, mm-mm. Nope, that's not what I want to do. Yes. Okay, and then we have the, the line with the table. there it's not it's not exactly precise no that's not even the right one at all is it are they is it because it's upside down yeah it seems like it's upside down So that would mean... This would actually go... Oh no, it can't be. Is there some way to determine orientation on this thing? I mean, is this even the right... So we have to rotate the thing? What did it do? Hmm. I see. That appeared in the vision. I've popped down the diagram and marked that glyph. So it seems like it, it's oriented this way. It's got to be these three and then those two, right? So if you rotate it, that one goes there. Which was... which one again? It's got the... the eye. One goes there. And then one next to it is the one with the sun. It's this guy right here. Um, and then we have the sun, the one to the that would be this guy. And then let me make this one there. That one there. It'll work. Maybe we, we test it and see. Did I do it wrong? Clearly, I must have gotten the order wrong here. What do these lines mean? Two lines down.
I'm pretty sure that's right. Is there something else that I need to do? sound. Maybe it is just a direct translation. Even though it kind of doesn't quite look like it. Um, and then that would be there, and then there. Starts off. The clips are all rotated. All right, uh, that must have done something, right? I step on this now. Sure, I'll go into this. Totally safe place. Oh, hey, a reflection. For a moment, I thought my reflection in the mirror was about to talk to me. For a moment, I thought I saw a light on my brow. Oh, you're saying different things. Is it? I felt a strange crawling sensation in my wrists when I touched this black mirrored surface. And I thought I saw a, a light glowing on my forehead. Anything else? For a moment, I thought my reflection nope. in the mirror was about to um, talk to me. We are just repeating ourselves. Okay. Alright, so let's go this way. Let's see what's over here. This is Frank Gilman, from the Upperwatt Antarctic Expedition. Over. I was unable to reach anybody. Listen, 
I cannot talk much. I know that you are having trouble remembering, but you must be chosen. Follow the light. Do you hear me? Come on, please. Where are you? Damn it. The connection is lost. He said I have to keep going. Why? Where are they? What? Well, the thing is. It is possible to assume that due to volcanic activities in the Earth's crust, the climate here is humid and temperate, but we don't know exactly whether this is the case. That theory somehow explains the nature of those small scattered fragments of obsidian along with that cryptic stone wall that welcomes you when you enter via the round gate. As men of science, we cannot fully grasp most of the phenomena happening around us. No apparent sign has been left behind, indicating that true motives are the carvers of these inconceivably old caverns. All that I'm sure of this place, all I am sure of is that this place holds something strange. Grasping the soil here firmly in both hands gives me a rudimentary sensation I cannot translate into words. Something I'm sure no other mortal has, man has hitherto perceived. Were those maze-like tunnels flooded at some point in time, or were they carved underwater? This was the main topic of debate at last night's meeting, and what Dr. Faust hinted at on various occasions, cited from a dark leather-bound book, was too frightening, at least for the ones who could understand the underlying links. The megalithic structures, ornate standing stones, and the flat areas of polished rock we could see at some points made us think that this place could be a religious temple complex of some sort. We cannot imagine what it looked like in its former days, for now it lies in ruin. Bare and without any sign of underwater of fauna or flora. Okay. And another note. We finished tweaking the submarines one last time, and again they are ready enough for the next uncertain voyage ahead. This time we will also mark the way with light sources to make it easier for the later expeditions. In a short while, all members of the primary underwater exploration party, led by Dr. James Barlow, will head for the next destination, which appears to be towards the mythical, mythical entrance to the legendary netherworld. Oh, cool. But again, I wonder whether we are looking for something that is not to be found. After all, I've experienced, read, and studied here. After all those sleepless nights spent discussing the laws of nature and how to bend them, lies beyond and how to reach certain state to see more without eyes. Even I cannot help but think that this journey may easily lead straight to hell, but we have to go through it all in search of answers. Dr. Morgan Blink. Alright. What's this? Rotate. It's another... More of these statue things. Hello? the submarine platform. Do I know how to operate a submarine? Sure. fun part of this game, I can already tell. I'm gonna run into so many things.
Descend, 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 descend. I got below this. Descend. Jeez. Nope, go up. This is incredibly difficult to control. so bad at this game. How many hits can I take before I just absolutely kill myself? Be sure I couldn't avoid that. Had to be like on purpose, right? Did I die and now I'm going back to do it again? Uh what? Did I do this again? Oh, it's that same song that was playing in the creepy guy's house. Oh. It's that book they were talking about. I believe is too strong for the mind and the body. At least it disorients the feelings, bodily functions, and even more so the powers of judgment. 
Nevertheless, I didn't expect or even prepare for what happened during the session we held two days ago. Frank was not able to rise from the deep. Still, what strikes me the most is his contorted look and his speech when he came back to life. It was only subtle, but I was able to detect it. Doubtlessly, a revulsion of feeling was apparent in his countenance. There was something unnatural, something bizarre behind his marbled eyes. It seemed that he saw the deepest time frame we had been searching for a long time. I cannot be so sure about that for his consciousness may have been hindering the flow of communication, but it is still highly possible. The speech, even though it was almost indiscernible, seemed awkward and foreign. The pronunciation was barbarously alien, and his diction had a curiously stilted quality. Beyond any doubt, the speaker was not Frank. I tried to speak to him, but he seemed unaware of me. Kept looking at a certain point on the wall in front, what I discerned from his speech was a long dead language that only a few people know today, myself included. Diseases. Diseases? So I was the sole person who understood what he had said, and I will keep it that way until everything is settled. Past two nights, Frake has woken up screaming, covered in a cold sweat, unable to remember the contents of his dreams. The things that caused him to scream intensely enough to render Mr. Barlow speechless. I will consult PK about this event as soon as possible. Take care. E. Warren Ross. Ooh. It's stuck. It's definitely stuck. Out of these drawers. Two days ago, Frank most probably could have reached the intended time period. Among all the Canarianos, he is the most, how should I say it, gifted. But unfortunately, his heart ceased beating all of a sudden. This was most unfortunate, because when he came back, he doesn't remember anything specific. I believe there is no other way than increasing the intake dosage of the mixture. Very dangerous, but this seems the only way to raise the time limit and awareness in the sessions. So what, they go back in time through memories or something? Very weird story. Locked. Time to go back to the squid submersible. Where, where am I? Uh, how did I get here? Great question. Where? Other expedition parties. Is there anyone who can read me? One person is dead, and two others have been injured by the partial ice cave collapse. There is something here with us. Do not come through our expedition route. I repeat, do not come through our expedition route. Yes, I read you. This is Frank. For God's sake, what happened? And please, tell me where I can find you. Frank, do not stray from your path. We have come across something... terrible. Do not come here through our expedition route, no matter what happens. If 
looks like this fiendish netherworld depends on some kind of energy. An energy that is stored in curious stoneworks similar to an obelisk with crystals on top. And they are able to clear away some of the strange plants. Dr. Faust? Dr. Faust? No, oh, come on, oh, not again! This is nonsense. I cannot understand what is going on. <laughs> the voice of the player, for sure, at this point in the game. 